We're in Delhi for one of the biggest rivalry games in our area. That's right, it's the annual Delhi Walton game. For the first time in recent memory, this game has no playoff implications as Walton dropped down to Class D this year. Delhi comes into the game ranked fourth in Class C, while Walton is ranked number one in Class D. First half saw Walton put together a long drive that lasted almost 13 minutes, but the Bulldog defense clamped down and kept the Warriors out of the end zone. We'd end the half with a 0-0 tie. Delhi got the ball to start the second half, and the Bulldog offensive line opened up a nice hole for Nate Rockefeller to run through. He takes it to the outside and down the sideline for a 50-yard gain inside the 30. Coach Kelly talks strategy with quarterback Pat O'Connell. Now O'Connell takes the snap. I think he was looking for a screen, but instead he throws long. It's held up in the wind, but Taylor Sons comes back for the ball. He makes the catch and takes it inside the 10-yard line for a Delhi first down. Bretton Hood gets the call, and he brings it down just inside the five-yard line. Then Rockefeller gets it again, and he makes his way to the goal line and just barely makes it in for a touchdown. Delhi gets on the board first, and they take a 6-0 lead after the missed conversion attempt. Both teams would go three and out, and now Walton has it near the end of the third quarter. Richard Fletcher takes it through the line and grounds out a nice game. Same drive, third and three from the 29. Robert McLaughlin gets the call, and he busts through for a first down inside the 35. Another third and short, Kyle Holly gives it to Richard Fletcher, and he keeps the drive going with another first down. Walton stays on the ground, and Robert McLaughlin powers his way to a six-yard gain. Holly gives it to Richard Fletcher, and he keeps the sticks moving. We move to the fourth quarter, and Walton's still driving. Kirby Fletcher gets the ball and breaks a tackle to get a first down inside the 25. It's third and eight from the 15-yard line now, and Robert McLaughlin gets the handoff. He powers his way close to a first down. It's fourth and short. Walton's going for it. Richard Fletcher gets it and busts through the line for another Walton first down. On second and goal from the four, the Warriors stay with Richard Fletcher, and he takes it into the end zone for a touchdown, and we're tied at six. They're going for two, but the Bulldogs stop Robert McLaughlin, and they're still tied at six. Delhi's got the ball back, and Robert O'Connell's looking to pass. He finds Taylor Sons in the middle of the field for a Bulldog first down. Are the Bulldogs going to pass again? No! O'Connell hands it off to Brenton Hood. He gets a huge hole to run through. He's down the sidelines. Nobody's going to catch him. He's into the end zone for a huge 53-yard touchdown. Delhi takes a 12-6 lead after the missed conversion. Walton needs to score, and Kyle Holly gives it to Richard Fletcher, and he gets close to a first down. They go forward on fourth, and Richard Fletcher barely gets the first down. Walton decides to try a pass, but the Bulldogs' Jeff Rosa bats down Kyle Holly's pass. Walton's faced with a fourth and long with the game on the line. Looks like an option play. Kyle Holly pitches to Nate Sheldon, but he can't come up with it. The ball's loose. Richard Fletcher picks it up, but Nate Rockefeller's right there for a drive-ending tackle. Now high ball, it's third and long, and they're trying to eat up the clock. Pat O'Connell goes back to pass. He finds his favorite target, Taylor Sons, who makes a leaping grab for a Dell High first down. It's third and nine with two minutes left. O'Connell takes to the air again, and he finds Nate Rockefeller, who tries to make a diving catch. The official rules are the catch, but you make the call. It wasn't enough for a first down, so Bretton Hood gets the call, and he's stopped by a host of Warriors, and Walton gets another chance to tie. The Warriors have no timeouts, and there's about a minute left. Kyle Holly wants to pass. He lets it fly. Jason Wake is there and makes the game-saving interception. All that's left is for Delhi to run out the clock. They win this great matchup of two smash-mouth football teams, 12-6. 
Let's talk to Coach Kelly and some of the players. That's our rival. We got to play hard against them. Our scout team gave us a good look all week. We knew just what was going to happen. We played them for many years. And our DNs had a little trouble in the first half. That's why they were running off tackle. But they stepped it up in the second half. And my game ball goes to them. Yeah, they had a guy keying me the whole time. All his job was to be on me. And it made things tough for me, but I was able to break one. Oh, that's, that's huge. Anytime, uh, anytime our kids can experience a, a victory over Walton, it happens only about once every four years. So, so <laughs> we enjoy it a great deal. Our defense made them go slow, and uh, we stayed on our keys just about, you know, probably 98% of the time and made them go slow. And I, and I think they gave us a chance to win, our defense.